I, I guess I'm 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 not sure what's 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 going on. So uh let's do this. Stacy back in the building. What's up? Happy New Year. So how's your new year going so far? Man, it's going pretty good, pretty good. I can't complain. I just it's my second day back on the road. I think, yeah, second day. Second <laughs> day. Yeah. Second day. Well, let's uh, well, let's let's play catch up. First thing first, you know, let everybody know who you are and and how's your journey been going so far. Well, as y'all know, I am Stacy Lynn, the big trucker. <laughs> uh, it's been going pretty good. Uh, when I talked to you last time, I think I was just starting my trucking journey. I'm coming up on two years now, so. Mm-hmm. I'm doing pretty good. I work for an owner op right now, making pretty good money. Um, the trucking company I was with, May Trucking, that is not it. <laughs> so you say May. Not it. So you say May Trucking is not it no more, huh? No, and I even I even went back a second time to team drive, and it just it ain't it. Wait a minute, what you? Okay, so let let me see if I can remember remember well. Uh, when we talked back in the day, you you was a YouTuber. Uh, that's that's why yep. that's why I met you at before. But I haven't been seeing much uh much from you on YouTube. But I think when I talked to you, was you teaming with your boyfriend or husband at yeah. the time? I, yeah, I um when I talked you the first time, he was just a passenger. Remember? And right. <laughs> we were joking about that. I actually got him to get his license so now we team drive together okay okay so it, so y'all still together yeah he up here in the top boat right now we just pulled over for the night oh, we in Pennsylvania. okay okay shout out shout out to y'all still being together doing the damn thing how was it how was it to get him to to get his license like i mean what the you know was it like you just you know kind of just Con him into being like, look, man, we can get this money together. We could double the profit. What's going on? How how was it? How, how was it when <laughs> when you you know you kind of got him to get his license? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's pretty much how it was. We were uh, we weren't struggling financially, but we were tired of being on our feet, you know. Or he was at the time, anyway. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, come on, baby, don't get out here. Let's make this bread. And he's been here ever since. All right, that's what's up. So, did he? Where where did he go to get his license from? Uh, he went to Truck Driver Institute in Oxford, Alabama. Oh, okay. So he went to school. So he didn't. So th- is it safe to say that he did his uh, research as far as you know going for his license, the route that he took? Um, I say pretty pretty much so because everything he did, I did. So I just had him do what I did. I mean, went to the same school, same process, same people. Oh, yeah. Damn, let me give the bomb drop for that one, man. Fuck. <laughs> okay. He's like, yo, you gonna yo, you gonna be on this truck with me. You gonna be you 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 gonna have to get your license. Okay, we finna get some corn. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. So all right, so you started out uh uh two years ago. I think it was two years ago that we uh, chopped it up with each other. Um, yep. God damn it, man! I mean, fuck. Why we haven't been? Why we haven't been uh, keeping in contact with us uh, with each other? So, well, we. You know what? I think we have. Yeah. Look, see, see, see. The thing about that is, it's been a really awesome on for me since we last did our little interview. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, I done been home, did yard dogging, did local, drove Piggly Wiggly, dedicated. Came back to make truck in, and it didn't. Now I'm where I'm at now. So, so <laughs> I didn't been around. The top. <laughs> so what made trucking? You 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 gave it a little lick. You you figured out it, it was time to move away. Uh, do, during that little time, that's when your that's when your boyfriend went to went to school to get his license, right? Right, and uh, made tr- he there was an issue with him having a trainer because we had a a, a pet. Mm-hmm. So 
Mace Trucker actually asked me to come back and train him. So that's how I ended up back at Mace. So oh. he knows nobody else. From, from, train, from school to training to now, he's been with me. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so... You uh yard dog. Where where did you go? Where where did you go to do some uh, yard work? Amazon, that's my Alabama. Amazon. So is it? Did you go? Well, let me see. It, it, is it Amazon themselves, or was it the was it the third party company? If I'm not mistaken, I, I think Laser got that account. Uh, uh, they probably have it now. But I was yard dogging through. Um, Signature Express. Oh, okay. Signature Express. Now, Yard Dog is a hell of a different beast than, you know, than over the road trucking or or trucking period because you, you know, you guys you guys move a lot of trailers uh throughout the day. How right. how, how did that improve on your backing? Because I'm sure That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> It made me badass. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you no lie. It made me badass. Uh, I, I am grateful because at the time that I got the job, uh, yard dogging, I didn't even have enough experience to work for the company or even be out there doing that job. So I was blessed to just know the right people, and I got out there and it gave me everything I needed. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, uh. From there, you 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 got the opportunity to go back to May. Uh, I'm assuming May offered you a little bit more coin to train your boyfriend, but obviously, it it still just didn't work out with uh, May Trucking, and you guys decided yeah. to go with uh, owner operator on this round. Yeah, nah, that wasn't the move. But if anybody looking for a good job, you know what I'm saying? So hit me up. <laughs> Okay, that's the money. Up. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So how 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 has it been, man? I mean, y'all two uh, trucking around the world. Y'all 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 making money together. Is there is there any plans to make it up uh, to make it official, or y'all good where y'all at? <laughs> oh, ooh, tricky. <laughs> well, I'll start by saying uh, things have been going pretty good on our end. We actually are planning this year to leave this company and start our own hot shot. Okay. Business. Okay. So good Lord allow everything, you know, I'll go forward with that. Um, other than that, I have to, you know, hey, what we doing? Okay. <laughs> Look, what what we doing? <laughs> All right. That's what's up. So Stacy, man, you, you, you made this crazy ass post in, in, in Facebook, man. Um, uh, What's what's going on? What's what what is what what is this going on on the on the, on the social media front, man? So basically, um, this young seller he requested me on Snapchat. Fella. So you know, I get like thirty requests a day. Mm -hmm. I don't even. It's, I get so many requests at this point. I don't even go through them and see how you added me, where you added me from. I just add you. And if you get to talking crazy, I block you. Simple. Mm -hmm. So this particular guy, I just happened to come across his story. I was looking at his story and he made a comment about trucking. Mm -hmm. So me not knowing this man from a can of paint, you know, say or anything like that. I saw his post and thought it was quite hilarious. So I screenshot it and added it to my snap. Okay. Um, usually, okay. I mean, it's Snapchat. That's what you do. That's what it's for. Right. So I just feel like if you posted something that you didn't feel was appropriate for other folks to see, you probably shouldn't have posted it. But anyway. Oh, see, so, oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta re, we we gotta hold that thought because we gotta rewind and and see if you heard uh about this particular TikToker uh got a driver fired. She posted it on her TikTok. It got uh it got way out of hand and she took it down. Would he, would he, how do you feel about that? I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna post, if you're gonna post the TikTok, talking about, you know, what, you know, you got this guy fired, and all like that, you know, you you didn't expect the backlash to come in. I mean, to come at you. Now you try to change your image, and and you're you 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 you're trying to be like the good trucker now would he would would she be able to rebound from that after being known 
as as a snitch? I about to say as a snitch. Uh, ooh, that's a tricky one. I mean, I don't know the context. I can't even lie. I don't even know the the situation you're referencing. Also, I, I'm just going off the top of the head. But uh, that's a tricky one. I mean, it depends on it. Just what your what your reasoning was before it was. Was it malicious or was it be to be funny or were you really concerned for others' safety or you know or was it just for clout and views on TikTok? You know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would never call somebody their their job or something and then brag about it because what's here tomorrow, I mean, what's here today can be taken tomorrow. So, you know, I believe in karma and, uh, you know, hey. <laughs> exactly. So it's, so it's like what this guy did. He, 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 he posted something and he didn't expect the backlash to come. Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. So what happened was I posted it and before I could even, I mean, as soon as I posted it and went to my messages, I saw that he was writing me. Mm-hmm. So I went to it and immediately that's what it was. It was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So I was like, is he? And he was like, I don't even fucking know you. And you screenshot my shit and who do who, bad ass bitch and this, that, and the third. Uh, you know, mm. call me N words and stuff. Yeah, call me N words and stuff. And I was just like, okay. I didn't even screenshot your post with malicious intent. But because you tried me like that, now I will put you out there for who you really are. And I don't have, I don't, me, I'm not, I'm not timid for the black, for the backlash. I'm not anybody who has something to say about it or feels the type of way. Like I snitch, I could get two fucks. You know, cause I, I don't disrespect anybody and nobody's going to just disrespect me dropping in bombs and shit. Like, nah, I don't play like that. So this, so this is, so this is all over there on Snapchat. On Snapchat. Yeah. This was literally like an hour ago. Wow, I, I I didn't realize Snapchat is 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 about that is about that life. I I thought it was I thought it was all on TikTok. Right, and I had a I have an actual friend that knows that person. See, I don't know that person. I don't know him from a can of paint, but I have a friend that actually does know him from the trucking community, and immediately called me when they saw my snap and was like, "Yo, you know he said that," and I'm like, "Yeah, like he did that." So you know. I was like, if he went off like that, he already got he already got some people on his butt behind him. See, uh, see, I, I I always say, I always say, be careful what you put out there on the internet and social media. Not everything needs to be said on social media. I I think social media just just changed the fabric of of everybody. I mean, it it started on Facebook. Move to YouTube. Now it's on. It's on TikTok. Um, now it's on TikTok, and it's just crazy that people just say and do things for validation, for likes, for views, for for clout. I mean, w- what is it? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, I'm okay. just, that, that's yeah. It's all about clout. Wow, I, I, and I thought Facebook was 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 it, man. That's that's crazy. So again, this guy just uh, just turned around and just felt that, you know, it just felt that he just put it out there, and he didn't think he was going to get any type of any type of backlash. Right. Or anything like that. Again, be careful of of what you put out there, man. It's sometimes it's just not worth it. <laughs> it's just not worth it, man. Yeah. So, so Stacy, man. Seeing, I mean, this, since you called me, this is my first time just looking over the comments and stuff. I see one little, you know, like Mister Karen, but I don't see most of the people on on my side saying like he's just stupid, but. Uh, you know, there's always going to be the, <laughs> the butt, the monkeys, they got to gotta be on the opposite side. First yeah. of all, the church community is meant to be safe, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, but if that's you want to do drugs case. and alcohol, you probably shouldn't be out here. You probably be in a different profession. <laughs> nah, that's, that's not but the case. The truck, young man, the truck this young man was actually smoking a blunt in his truck in the picture. Like, this was not, I didn't make this up. I didn't speculate. This is what I saw. And um, I guess he was worried that I might have gotten that picture 
And so he just blocked me. But uh, he's lucky I couldn't get that picture because I feel like if you're able to disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. Well, and that yeah. was not even my, like I said, it wasn't even my intent. Well, again, you know, like I said, a lot of a lot of people just just do and say things and don't think they're going to get no 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 backlash or residual incidents off of social media. That's that's why you should that's why you should not be posting stupid shit or saying stupid shit or doing stupid stuff because you once you put it on social media, see, you can go and and take it down off your off your page, but just like just like the chick said, oh, there's someone always watching. Well, there's someone's always watching. There's someone's always screenshotting. There's someone always screen recording. There's someone's always recording. Your 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 content that you put up and put out there is gonna be out there for, for the world to see, and the world is gonna take that. And by you trying right. to, you know, for him and her, by trying to block you. And then for her to take her content down, it's still up there. See, I ain't taking nothing down. See, she, the difference between me and her is she was bragging about her actions. I just, I was being informative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever happens ha after that happens, it has nothing to do with me. But I was just letting the, commu the trucking community know that these are the type of dirt bags that we are dealing with. That's what's up. That's what's up. Stacy, man. Uh, you you've been you you've been driving for quite a while now. I mean, you know, two years. Uh, you still getting your you know you still getting your feet wet. You know, you you trained your boyfriend and everything. Uh, right. What's 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 ne you know what's next to expect for you down the road? Oh, like I said, I'm ready to be a housewife. I don't want to work. <laughs> but um, like I said, hopefully we get this hot shot business going. And you know, I always keep you posted, keep you updated from now. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, Stacy, man, you know, there's a lot of fears for you guys out here. Now, you know, you you team in with your boyfriend, which is you know part of this part of the safety aspect of it. But before you started trucking, or when you got into trucking, what were some of the things that scared you, and that still scared you to this very day? Snow, black ice, and mountains. <laughs> Snow, black ice, and downgrade. That's yeah. I can handle it, but I'd rather not. You know what I'm saying? It's not my preference. I got you. I got you. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. Last thing before we get on up out of here, man. And I do appreciate you coming back again, chopping it up with with the lockout men in the new it's year. Time. It's time. You know, twenty twenty two. You know, you're gonna make it big. I hope you. Uh, I hope you have success in everything that you guys do. But um, what uh, you 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 only been in the game, you know, for a little bit of time. You still, you know, still considered wet behind the ears. But when you go to trucks, hey. what? They, when you, but you know, when you came out of school, because you know, you guys went to the same school. What do you wish that you would have learned in school that you had to learn out on the road the hard way? Ooh, bagging, <laughs> bagging, bagging, bagging. Uh, our school was was small. Uh, there wasn't wasn't very many instructors. wasn't very much time. So you had maybe 10, 15, 20 students sometimes sharing two trucks on the range outside in the heat. You know, get in for a minute, do a lap, come back, switch out. You know, so I just wish you had more hands on time. Also, um, in school, you weren't given enough time to learn how to drive um, a manual. I had to learn that out here. Um, I went over the road with somebody and team drove and they taught me. It wasn't right, but... <laughs> They taught me, so that's how I know now. Um, but yeah, definitely bagging and manual driving. All right, that's what's up, Stacy Lynn. Thank you very much once again. All right, so you take it easy. You guys stay safe and everything, and uh, we'll we'll come back again. We're not going to be no strangers in twenty twenty two, right? That's why right. and I'm gonna send you an updated picture because the last one I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need you to I need you to do that. I need you to do that for me. 
All right, I got you. Appreciate right. you for having me. As always, I'll holler at you in a minute. All right. <laughs>